dear students i will introduce about myself first my name is fasil and i completed my btech from college of engineering trivandrum mtech from nit roorkela right now i am working as, uh, as an assistant professor at thrissur today let us can discuss about electrical system design so in this the safety aspects today we will discuss about the safety aspects while we are making the electrical installations two important aspects of electrical system design are one is the proper functioning of the installation for the use by the designer and the second one that's, that that is the safety aspects safety aspects means in case of livestock and in case of properties all those things which we need to consider it out every electrical installations exposes two main risks risks means while we are making the electrical installations there may be a chance for the electrical shock and also there may be a chance for the fire due to high temperature therefore the system designer shall incorporate proper protective measures for making the electrical installations so that protective measures there are one which we can consider as protection against direct contact the second one that is protection against thermal effects similarly we can consider protection against over current and one more issue that is protection due to over voltage or that may be due to under voltage protection against direct contact the primary aim of this type of protection is to prevent persons and lives stock coming in direct contact with the live parts of the electrical systems this can be achieved by preventing a current from passing through the body of a any person or live stock or by limiting the magnitude of the current which passes through the body to a value that lower than the perceptible shock current so in order to make the direct so in order to avoid the direct contact we can use insulation over the live conductors so that the chance of getting shock we can avoid due to the presence of insulation second one that is protection against thermal effects the electrical installation shall be designed like there may be no chance of fire in case of electrical systems while the current flowing through the circuits there will there may be a heating effect that means its temperature increases so automatically if there be some flammable material near to those conducting portions there may be a chance for fire and there will be an increase in thermal energy so it's also we need to make it avoid third one that is protection against over current overloading and thereby an over current cannot be avoided in case of electrical systems while the over current flowing through the systems there may be safety issues so in order to remove these types of issues commonly we are using circuit breakers and diffusers while the over current flows through the circuits at that time it will disconnect from the supply areas so the last point in case of safety aspects that is protection against over voltage or under voltage so while the lightning occurs or in case of switching there may be a chance for over voltage these over voltages also creates issues in case of electrical systems so we need to think about how to remove these issues or while these types of over voltage occurs what are the conditions which we need to consider it out the under voltage may not be much of a problem in case of lighting systems but while we are considering in case of industrial systems there we need to use different types of motors 
so automatically if those motors are operating under low voltage or under under voltage situations at that time there may be issues that means the products produced that is not a good quality one next we can go to the building services what do you mean by a building service building services mainly broadly we can classify as two types one is major building services and other one is minor building services in case of major building services they the the loads they are consuming much amount of electricity for example if we are considering the air conditioning system or lifts or escalators Similarly, in case of building, there we need to use a large number of lighting loads. So automatically, these types of loads we can consider under major building services. Similarly, one more building services are the what it is? They are minor building services. In case of minor building services, the they are consuming a small quantity of energy. Electric audio systems, electric cable system, electric clocks. Fire alarm systems, TV systems, and electric TV networks. They are all the examples for minor building services. So, in this, they only require a small amount of electricity for its working. Since all building services mentioned, about require electricity for their normal functioning electrical system designer should have a clear understanding of these of the requirements of these services next we can go through the sub circuits while we are making these sub circuits in case of electrical systems basically two sections we need to think about one that is that subcircuits are split as light subcircuits and the other section that is power subcircuits in case of light subcircuits the we can include loads like light points fans and 5 ampere plug sockets similarly if you are considering the power subcircuits there we can include 15 ampere plug sockets so the sub circuits we can broadly split into two sections or two ways that is light sub circuits and the other one is power sub circuit these things are important in case of electrical systems why because these sub circuits we can include these points we can include all the electrical wiring installations so according to Indian standard course, while we are making the electrical installations, we need to consider few points. That means in case of light sub circuits, up to a maximum of 10 loads are possible and also up to a wattage or connector load in case of a particular sub circuit that is 800 watts. Similarly, if we are going through the power sub circuits, the number of loads possible that is 2 and up to a wattage or a connector load that is 3000 in case of a particular power sub circuit so thanks for watching my video and if you like my video you can click on that bell icon and also subscribe it